Good afternoon, everyone. If you search for the word Estrabel in Google, you would most probably end up finding a picture pretty similar to the one on top left of the slide, as if the bells are wrapped only for posing and taking the pictures. But can you imagine what sorts of problems you would be encountering if you want to take these bales off the farm to produce some added value products such as bioethanol or bio oil? This presentation discusses the logistics of transporting biomass feedstock to biorefineries, how it's been done for decades and how we have revolutionized it within the past six years. Biomass feedstock, whether agriculture-based or forest-based, are conventionally transported by trucks. This mode of delivery does not accept economy of scale. Therefore, the more the number of trucks, the more the cost of delivery. Moreover, in higher capacities, you would require higher frequency of truck delivery, which would accordingly increase the traffic congestion, the air pollution, and probability of road accidents. And here is the interesting fact about it. Even if you manage to somehow resolve all these concerns, it's still not worth doing it because the maximum capacity of the biorefinery you can achieve is going to be 25 times less than the capacity of the typical fossil fuel refinery. Pipeline transport of biomass feedstock in the form of biomass water mixture is considered as an alternative approach to enable bio-based energy facilities achieve higher capacities. This mode of delivery benefits from economies of scale as well as eliminating traffic congestions and environmental issues of overland transportation. And here is an interesting fact about this one. Imagine there is an incident. All you got to lose is water and a straw. In large scale fluid lab at U of A, a 25 meter long closed circuit pipeline facility has been fabricated to experimentally investigate pipeline hydro transport of knife milled and pre-classified wheat straw and corn store agricultural residue. We proved the technical feasibility of the concept developed corresponding empirical correlations, confirmed the chemical feasibility, and finally conducted a series of techno-economic analysis where it was interestingly found that to get one ton of biomass delivered by one kilometer, you would end up paying five times less if you, pay, if you pick pipeline over trucks. In conclusion, since published, this research has received renewed interest from government and private sectors because there has been finally, eventually, a practical approach proposed which can make biorefineries quite competitive with fossil fuel-based plants. And who knows, maybe using these techniques, in a few years from now, you would be able to fuel your car by, by, by ethanol instead of gas. Thank you.